Aloha, this is Doug and Zeus from Big Island Campers on the Big Island of Hawaii. And uh, today this video is about a new van that I'm adding to our fleet. And um, wanted to, to give you a little history about this van. This is a 2012 Ford E350 and it's a four wheel drive. And this, um, this van has quite the history. It um, it was used for doing tours to go up to Mauna Kea, and because you you need to have four wheel drive to get to the top of Mauna Kea, um, and they used this as a passenger van um, to take people up there, and um, and then they they opened up a dive shop and then used it for doing some shore diving and pulling a boat. And um, so these are some rails for hanging scuba equipment. Um, but I'm super stoked about this van because I'll be able to get to places that there's a lot of places on this island that are fantastic for spearfishing or, um, you know, just sightseeing, whatever, looking at whales uh, that you can only get to by four wheel drive. And I've been really limited and a little frustrated with um, my inability to do that. So this is gonna be my baby. And um, it's a V10, it's got great power and starts right up, sounds fantastic. It has um, 200, it says oil change required, gives me all these kind of things. Um, but um, yeah, it sounds super great, filled with drive works. Um, cruise control, air conditioning, different lights, things like that. Um, and one thing that um, one thing that I'm I'm debating is I have a lot of people that um, ask me if uh, you know there's there's more room for more than. Uh, than just two people. All my vans are just basically for couples. Mostly I have couples that come and rent my vans, travel around the island. It's amazing. Uh, every once in a while I have families that are like, hey, do you got seats for like our kid or our two kids or whatever, or our Zeus dog? Yeah, I need a seat and a belt buckle. <laughs> um, so um, I do have the option to leave a couple seats in but this is normally where my kitchen cabinets go. My, my, my sink, um, things like that over here will be uh, the stove. And then back here will be the bed. And what's cool about this van is, I mean, I'm not the tallest person in the world. I'm about 5'6", um, if I've been hanging on the tree for a while. So I fit into here super comfortably. I got a little room to spare. And, um, but, uh, I can stand up here. It's 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 really nice. So um, this would be my kitchen. The bed will be back here, and um, just like my other two vans, uh, the bed will will slide out the back so that you can sleep under the stars. So um, so the question is is do I leave these um, passenger seats in? and decrease the size of my my kitchen and 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 so forth or do i just take them out and build it for two people and make it sweet so leave me uh leave me some feedback in the comments let me know what you think um zeus what do you think i need a couch a whole full couch <laughs> so anyway my first um my first thing is going to be to go through the van um, and change all the fluids, replace some spark plugs and fuel injectors and um, maybe some ball joints, check all the brakes. Um, just go through, make sure all my, all my seals are good between the engine and transmission. And um, I've had a lot of people <clears throat> ask me to, um, you know, about how to build the vans and so forth. So. Um, I'm gonna try to do more of a um, 
I don't know if it'd be called a blog or you know just constant videos on my YouTube channel of the progress of this van um, and so follow along maybe you'll learn something and maybe you can teach me some something so um, but I've got um, a few other projects to do I have our sprinter van over there that is gonna be um, bit, uh, that's gonna be my next rental so that's a pretty awesome van I live in that van right now I have been for the last several years it's super sweet it has uh, a bed that pulls out the back you can sleep under the stars it's not four-wheel drive but I it has good clearance and I've taken it to a lot of different places um, and then I have this shipping container that I bought and I am building this into a tiny home uh, and once that's done the Sprinter van will be up for sale or up for rent um, and then I'll be focusing full-time on this van and getting it ready so okay that's it Aloha thanks for watching and hopefully you come and get a van on the big island of Hawaii and do some amazing adventures so Aloha